welcome back to my channel or if this is your first time here thanks so much for stopping by today um, for today's video I have for you a ranking of all of the palettes that I tried in March so if that sounds interesting to you why don't we go ahead and get started Alright, um, so March was kind of a rough month for me um, health-wise, so I didn't get to try um, near as many as I thought that I would, so that's okay though. We're going to go with um, what I did try, so I tried a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 palettes. Um, I guess that's it. That's crazy. I thought I tried more, but I don't know. Like I said, March was kind of a rough month for me. So um, we will start with uh, number seven and then we will work our way up to number one. Um, and I'm just kind of doing this on the fly. Um, I would say my first one, or number seven, um, is going to be the uh, Glam Light Chocolate Donut. Um, and this is what she looks like inside. I um, have a little mirror there, and there you go, right there. Um, the, uh, I, I loved, let me, let me preface, I loved all of these palettes, so none of these palettes are bad they're all really really good palettes um and i would recommend all of them but uh you, they, they all have to you know have a spot right um so the reason i chose this is just because the tones aren't my favorite tones of brown um and so i feel also a little limited um because everything is kind of red tone um, as far as the mattes go, so I feel a little bit limited in the looks that I can create. Um, it's a beautiful palette, like I said. Um, I loved the look that I created with it. I love the shimmers. I feel like I might um, like using this palette better if I maybe create my look with other mattes and then use these shimmers just because like I said, I feel really limited, and they're they're, they're real red, um, reddish browns, and those aren't necessarily my favorite um, tones of brown, I guess. So that that's kind of why it fell in this place. But it's still a beautiful palette. Love it. Um, very glad to have it in my collection. Um, so it's going nowhere. Let's see. Um, the next one would probably be um, 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 um this is tough guys oh wow um probably the blueberry muffin palette and this is what it looks like on the inside uh, you got a little mirror and I'll hide that so this is what uh, the Blueberry Palette looks like. Um, Blueberry Muffin Palette, that is, by BH Cosmetics. I absolutely, again, love this palette. It is a gorgeous palette. I loved the, the look that I created with it. It really surprised me because I'm not normally um, big on blues, which then leads to why this is number six, because I'm not big on blue looks. Um, I don't do a lot of blue looks. So this is more limiting to me. Um, I just don't feel like I'll get, um, I'll, I mean, I, I know I'll use it, but I know it's not going to be used near as much as um, a bunch of my other palettes would be. Um, and as much as the ones that are in this, this pile um, this month would be. So that's why this is number six. But uh, the shadows were incredible in this. Again, I loved the, um, absolutely loved the look that I created with this. Um, I will uh, try to make sure to link all of the videos below 
because I made videos on all of these, so I'll make sure to um, link those videos below and up in the cards if I can. Uh, let's see. All right, so number five. Um, number five. Let me look. Okay, number five will probably be um, The Berries by Juvia's Place. Um, again, loved this palette. I actually used this palette in conjunction with the Sweet Pinks. Um, and that's probably one of the, one of my most favorite, favorite looks that I've done in a long time. It really surprised me. Um, but, this one on its own, um, I just don't think I'll use as much um, as I will the other ones in this pile. That's all. That's all there is to it. Um, it's a beautiful palette. It performed gorgeously. I loved the way everything came together. I think I only, I think there were only two shades in this palette that I didn't use. May have been that one. And maybe that one but I mean everything in here performed beautifully and I loved the way it worked with um, the sweet pinks so um, but then on its own it's just more limiting um, so that's why it falls at number five um, and then at number four will be the sweet pinks by Juvia's Place again same reason um, it's just a little bit more limiting um, just because it has less shades, but absolutely gorgeous palette. Highly recommend it. Absolutely nothing wrong with this palette. I think I used every shade in this palette. I can't remember. Um, and that look, uh, I just, I really had a good time using both of those palettes. So there is absolutely nothing wrong with them. Nothing bad. That's just, I just have to have somewhere to place them. So Again, this falls at number four. Um, okay, and so then uh, number three. Number three would be the Wahala by Juvia's Place. Only um, being because it has these pressed glitters. Otherwise, oh, I'm in love with this palette. I have only created one look and it was um, with the purples, but, and it was so easy. It was so gorgeous, but I see so many different looks I can create. And then it has a multi-chrome up here, which was just shocking to me. I didn't even know that when I bought this. Um, but I am not a fan of the pressed glitters, and that's taking up three pans that could, you know, be filled with more beautiful eyeshadow. So that is the only reason this falls at number three. Otherwise, I loved it. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend this one. I plan on picking up the Wahala 2 eventually as well. All right, down to number two. So for number two, um, it's going to be the Wild Child. Um, I loved this palette. This made the most gorgeous, rich, deep, chocolatey look. Oh, it was, it was just, it was just a really, really pretty look. Um, I really loved the way it came out. Um, these shades are super, super pigmented and really deep. Um, so they're great for t tan and deep skin tones. Um, but I mean, even people as fair as me can use it. So there you go. I just loved the look that I created with this. Um, so that's why it's in number two. Um, I don't like the uh, pressed glitter in the middle. That's always my complaint. Um, not a fan of the, you know, the matte with the glitters either. So that's another reason why it falls here. But 
The main reason is just because the number one palette is just my favorite. So here we go. Um, so drum roll number one palette is the ColourPop Star Wars, the Mandalorian, the Child palette. Um, for multiple reasons. Um, one, because the shadow quality, number one, shadow quality was incredible. Um, incredible shadow quality. Loved um, the way they performed. Loved the look, the way it came out. I love the color story. But then what's even better is the, you know, the child. I am a huge fan of the show. And so that makes this, this brings me even more joy for that reason. So uh, maybe it makes me a little biased um, because, you know, I'm not going to wear green on my eyes every day. And I might possibly wear those other ones more frequently, but this one brings me more joy um, looking at it um, and playing with it. So uh, this is number one for March. Um, so there you go. Those are the seven palettes that I tried in March. I hope I have a lot more in April. <laughs> Get on the ball with that one uh, to make sure that I have more than seven in April because I have so many palettes to get through. So, but anyways, so with all that being said, um, thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing and ringing that notification bell so that you'll be notified of all my future content. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. That lets me know what types of videos you do and don't like. Um, and then I just want to say thank you again for watching. I hope that you are having a great day or evening wherever you are in this world. I hope that you are staying safe. I hope that you are staying healthy. And I look forward to talking to you again soon. Bye!